He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the T. It's Gary, baby. All right, Reese, the morning show. It is six minutes after the hour. Gary has the tea in the color of the day. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. They are dubbed the Hollywood's newest couple, y'all. Who am I talking about? Khalees and Bill Murray, y'all. They're saying that they are definitely, honey, apparently Hollywood newest couple. At least, y'all, according to a report that says the two are definitely dating. Now, they're saying that the veteran actor and milkshake singer recently started hitting it off, baby, according to the um, us U.S. Sun, honey, which they said that they both been hanging out a lot together, Ricky, and they both, honey, been in the United States and, honey, across the pond. Now, they say why it may sound like, you know, an unlikely parent at first glance. Now, Bill Murray, he's only 72 years old, and Khalees, she's only 43 years old and they said they've been seen doing shows she's been with him and he's been with her in London and they've been posing backstage for pictures honey and all kind of I mean, good she things with who now with Bill Murray you remember Bill Murray he played um uh, uh what he played Ghost he played in Ghost, Ghost and Busters. all Ghost Busters yeah and all <laughs> the, uh, um, the old, old ass Bill Murray oh uh, yeah yeah like a what 30 something year age difference I mean, yes but honey they said they are madly in love and Ricky what really brought the two um together you know Khalees you know she lost her husband back in March of 2022 and Bill lost his wife honey back in 2021 and they said honey they have definitely honey bonded over that and they are madly in love Ooh. and it's beautiful oh, wow. I think it's nice, you know, because, I mean, good for her, honey. I mean, it's about time, honey, that, you know, let, honey, some of these girls, honey, um, Khalees them bring some of that money back home. And, honey. I they, thought she you were talking about her. Bill Maher. Because I heard uh, he oh, likes no. black women. Oh, he oh, does he like, does. he does he date does. black women. No, this Bill Murray, so, honey, all those Bills Ooh. like him. All of them like black women. Bill Eagle Clinton, call. Bill Martin. <laughs> yes, honey. Okay. <laughs> so. Congratulations. Yep, honey. And that's up just one, honey. All right, moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, my God, honey, this couple of people, it's not believing this, but it's being reported, y'all, that Shaquille O'Neal, baby, he hit up the L.A. hot spot for dinner the other day, honey. With the, um, they're saying that the NBA legend, honey, was joined by none under other, baby, the internet personality, Miss Brittany Renner, honey. They say the two hundred were told that they were definitely, honey, good friends catching up, they said. Now they're saying TMZ Sports learned that the seven foot one Hall of Famer and influencer, honey, showed up, honey, at the Beverly Hills Hilton Hotel together around six o'clock, and they appeared to enjoy each other's company as they shared y'all meal before leaving around eight o'clock. Now they're also saying y'all that people saying it was kind of a little bit tacky though that Shaquille would do some such a thing like that because that's where him and honey, um, Shawnee got married at, honey. At the Beverly Hills Hill, and he bringing this woman there. They're saying, you know, it wasn't a good look, but oh nevertheless. Oh, my God, Gary, you, 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 you're stretching. No, that's what they're saying. They say, honey, because, honey, that's where him and Shawnee got married, and then he bringing this woman there. Now, they're saying that Miss uh, Renner, now, she has a child with the Charlotte Hornets player, P.J. Washington, and, honey, has been vocal about her experiences with numerous athletes, honey, over the years. Now, they say she famously met with Deion Sanders, Jackson State football team, back in 2021, where she gave them, honey, life advice, honey, on groupies. Now, they're saying, FYI, Shawnee is an executive producer for basketball wise, and they said they do hold that Renner, honey, recently signed on for the upcoming season. But they're saying, sources said that, honey, the cameras were not rolling during that dinner. So... We checked them, but nevertheless, honey, they were spotted together. She's a cute girl, honey, and things like that. Okay, don't he deserve to have a little happiness, too? Yep. Oh, and, 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 and let me say this quickly because the biggest thing you thought I was being um, shady. They're saying, honey, <laughs> that Shaq and Shawnee got married at the Beverly Hills Hilton in 2002. Well, that's so, okay. They said, but you can stick a fork in the dating room because, honey, sources said that they were platonic. Him and on her, but no, that's not true, honey. Mm-hmm. They seen each other probably allegedly. Let me just say that, honey. Because why would he bring her there to um, the hotel, honey, where him and Shawnee got Dad, married? That's just damn messy. Man, you just, just leave it alone. Man, what dog. are you I'm talking about? This, yeah, you know why he didn't take her damn it to one of the hotels? Y'all like to go to the Stouffer's or whatever the name just of the hotel y'all go. Sofitel. Sofitel, you know. yeah. Why he didn't take her there? But he took away him and Shawnee. Everybody got go to the. Uh, that's what. That's where the stars go to the. Is that the one everybody go to? Right, Brad. I don't know, child. Gary done messed me up. <laughs> <laughs> and then my quick appreciation. Remember, I spoke earlier about um, John Amos being hospitalized. Well, okay, y'all got some more on that story. Now, they're saying that, honey, he, the details laid out that his daughter, Shannon Amos, you know, they say, honey, they say she's a lie, honey. No one was abusing him and hasn't been, and he hasn't been fighting for his life. Now, that's according to his rep, Miss Belinda Foster, said that, honey, that, you know, he's been in the hospital because of his lower body was. 
filling with fluid and all the way up to his abdomen and causing issues with his heart. Now, they're saying Ms. Foster said doctors have been able to drain all of it, and John recently started feeling 100% better. Now, the oh, deal good. is, now, yeah, they said, now, Shannon Amos, which is daughter, they said all she was asking for was $500,000, y'all, honey, from that oh. GoFundMe thing. Yeah, they said, honey, she set up a um, GoFundMe for a $500,000 goal. Oh. Mm-hmm. Just so, for her, pretty much. Yeah, no, for no, herself. No. Yeah, I, I just, it, that's just hard to believe. You know, and recall, he did star in Good Times, Ruth, and The West Wing. So he's been in a lot of shows. So I, I, it's just hard for me to believe that, Ricky, that he needed to go find me. And but, coming hey. to America. Yeah, and coming to the America. I mean, he's been in a lot of stuff. All right, Rock T, you're a big fan of his. What other movies he's been in? Because you follow him close. Yeah, man. I mean, he's, like I said, Roots. My favorite character, of course, is uh, Mr. McDowell, you know, from yeah. Coming to America. Yeah, but they, you ain't really getting no money off of those movies anymore. Yeah, but I know I've seen him make some appearance in some other TV shows. Yeah, but um, and he was with us not too long ago. I think it was last year or whatever. He was um, oh, he just did a kids book, if I'm not mistaken. You know, um, right when when we made him so, so I'm sure he had money. But the GoFundMe thing, honey, five hundred thousand dollars. She was talking about for legal fees and all this other stuff. I don't know, girl, but. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking online. It's 40-something movies he's been in. Yeah, so Ricky, he got some residuals. Yeah. Gunsmoke, all those shows here. John Amos, I don't think you need that kind of money. All right, the Kahlua Today, honey, is one of my favorite. My Kahlua Today is Digital Lavender. On the high end, you say Digital Lavender, and on the low end, you say Beautiful Light Purple. That's your Kahlua for today. That's beautiful, Gary. Y'all give it up for Gary with the team. Yeah. Yeah.